We can also use the theorem to find the length of a diagonal of a rectangle. If we draw a diagonal line from one corner to another of this rectangle, the diagonal divides it into two congruent right triangles. Instead of using A, B, and C, we will label the sides D, E, and F. Side D is 6 units long. Side E is 8 units long. If we plug D and E into the Pythagorean theorem, we have 6 squared plus 8 squared equals F squared. Now we will find the length of the hypotenuse using the same steps as before. If we calculate 6 squared and 8 squared, we have 36 plus 64 equals F squared. 36 plus 64 equals 100. So F squared equals 100. 100 equals 10 times 10 or 10 squared. By taking the square root of both sides, we find that F equals 10. The hypotenuse, which is the same as the diagonal of the rectangle, is 10 units long. We can also find the length of a diagonal of a square. Similar to our example of a rectangle, the diagonal divides the square into two congruent right triangles. Instead of labeling the sides A, B, and C, we will use G, H, and J. Remember, all sides of a square are the same length, so both G and H are 5 units long. Substitute the values for G and H in the theorem. 5 squared plus 5 squared equals J squared. 25 plus 25 equals 50. J squared equals 50. Find the square root of both sides of the equation to find the length of the hypotenuse. The length of the hypotenuse, which is the same as the square's diagonal, is 7 and 7 hundredths.